about a year and a half or two years ago or so, uh, we, were, we were searching to uh, go green here at the club at Adams Cove. And we, we started with, uh, with solar panels for hot water heating, and we, we progressed to the pool panels, as you can see. So here we are at Admiral's Cove Marina Resort um, in Jupiter, Florida. Uh, this is our one of our commercial domestic installs where we've installed three 200-gallon lock of our storage tanks with um, 14 um, 4x8 collectors up on the roof. They're Aurora collectors. We have it circulating as, a, as an open loop uh, circulation system. It's controlled by a GL30. Um, we basically have taken their, their facility here and in, from the last report that we had on this side of the building, we've saved them $13,000 over a season's worth of, of gas bills. This is a helical pool system on top of Admiral's Cove Marina Resort in Jupiter, Florida. We have 84 HC50s on the roof. Um, it heats their commercial pool, which is a, a fairly large pool. Um, it is a flush mount system on a flat deck, no penetration. It's a basic glue down system method that is an advantage with the helicoil panel. Very low wind loading on the panel. Uh, where a solid body panel system, they would never be permitted on the river with the trade winds on the coast here. Um, it does meet the 140 wind load. It is plumbed in series parallel, which means the system, there are arrays that are plumbed um, series fed and then they're parallel to meet the um, water, uh, the, the flow rates for each collector. Uh, the savings that they, they just told us was about $13,000 a year. Between both systems, an average of about twenty to thirty thousand dollars a year.